This is the Mancosa Management College of South Africa, situated at 22 Somora Michelle Road, downtown Durban Central. The Mancosa management team needed to expand their facilities to accommodate the constantly growing demand and need for further education. Architects CDET and CDET were commissioned to design the eco-friendly building. Minimizing the environmental impact and reducing its carbon footprint, skylights and light wells are strategically placed around the building to maximize natural light while reducing artificial light and energy costs. Polystyrene in the suspended slabs would reduce energy requirements when heating and cooling the office areas. Engineers Shaw Consult were engaged to design the structural element of the project. They were asked to collaborate with VNA Piling on the foundations for Phase 2, where an office block and parking were to be built. The Flow Creek Group, Quick Slab and Building Contractors were appointed to construct both phases of the Mancosa expansion project. This wasn't going to be an easy build as the site was located in the middle of a busy city with only one access driveway of four meters in width. Another problem was the fact that scaffolding could not be erected on the boundaries so brackets had to be designed and manufactured to clip onto the brickwork for plastering to proceed. We're unable to erect scaffolding on the boundary of these buildings so we've had to come up with an innovative way of plastering the external face of the building. So what we've done is we've manufactured these brackets. The brackets clip onto the 220 millimeter wall and we put a timber across them. The plasterers then have a safety harness that gets attached to the suspended slab and they stand on the edge there and they plaster the outer face of the building. Flow Creek commenced with phase one in May 2012. This was the construction of a mezzanine slab of 700 square meters within an old cinema. The first order of the day was the tying of hundreds of meters of rebar. While steel fixes toiled away, another group started to excavate for the bases. The bases turned out to be a monumental task as many years of alteration had seen the cinema backfilled with rubble. After breaking through the first concrete slab, the rubble was excavated out. Then a second and third concrete slab was removed before virgin soil was encountered. Flowcrete opted to pour the bases, columns and beams with an on-site mixed concrete and ready mix would be used to pump up onto the big pours for the suspended slabs. Fish lines are strung to ensure that all columns are aligned. Geotechnical engineers were then engaged to analyze the beach sand with a penetrometer test. Once the results were analyzed, base sizes and reinforcing details were finalized and construction could proceed. Bases were then poured and column reinforcing was tied in place by the steel fixers. The boxes were then plumbed into position and the column gets cast with a 30 MPA concrete. Reinforced beams are then boxed with shutterboard to hold the reinforcing and concrete in position during the concreting phase. In this case, the reinforcing band beams, 600 by 600 millimeters, are cast prior to the fixing of the slab. This is regarded as a safer method of construction, making the structure more rigid while fixing the beam and block decking system into place. While the Flow Creek crew fixed the suspended slab inside, VNA piling were hard at work outside. In a nutshell, what VNA piling is doing is drilling a 400 mm diameter hole into the ground with an auger. Then a specially designed grout is slowly pumped into the cavity. As the grout is forced down, the auger retracts from the ground, creating a column of concrete. Once the auger has been completely removed, the reinforcing cage is then inserted. The grout is a special mix of cement, river sand and a chemical additive accelerator. The v crew work like a well-oiled vintage clock. Site meetings with engineers, architects and flowcrete directors are a weekly occurrence. The Flow Creek crew tweaked the final bits and pieces before the final inspection by the engineers. 
the slab is then cast. The engineer and Flokery directors discuss how to execute this portion of the building. Like clockwork, the piles are completed according to schedule and the Flokery crew can commence with concreting the 700 square meter slab. Contractors were tripping over each other sharing the four meter wide driveway, but progress pressed on. The pour commenced while people went about their business at Mancosa, uninterrupted by the building works. Concrete 2000 is the concrete supplier of choice for this project. They have run 80 meters of static pipeline from the pump to the site. Once again, that four meter driveway was making the project more difficult. Concrete is pumped onto the deck then spread with a roller and vibrated in order to remove all the air trapped in the concrete. Finally, a power float machine is used to give the concrete a smooth finish. The mezzanine slab is now complete and the parking and office block construction can now begin. Phase 1 is complete. This is the mezzanine slab um, above the old cinema area. Um, as you can see, the, all the wet works are now complete. The suspended slab has been cast. The ramp behind me has been built. We've connected the two buildings and now the finishing can take place. The tiling, the carpeting, um, all the woodwork, the ceilings, electrics. Once the wet works are complete, all of that work can take place. And that's the next phase of this construction.